Mr. Speaker, is this the right way to look at this question, war or not war? Or do you see other options diplomatically or other non-war means that the United States has at its possession with dealing with Iran that it has not employed? Well, I start and say that both the answers you just got are superior to the current administration. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are a number of ways to be smart about Ar Iran and relatively few ways to be dumb, and the administration skipped all the ways to be smart. Uh, <clears throat> Could you tell us the smart ways, sure. Mr. Speaker? Sure. First of all, abs maximum covert operations uh, to block and disrupt the Iranian program uh, including uh, taking out their scientists, taking out their scientists, taking out their scientists, and breaking up their systems. And now they do, they're in the process of developing nuclear weapons, and it appears obvious to me that the administration is doing little to nothing. Now, I'm hopeful that some of the things we're seeing with respect to the nuclear program that the United States is involved with, which is, on occasion, scientists working on the nuclear program in Iran turn up dead. I think that's a wonderful thing. 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 Another Iranian scientist has been assassinated. That's what we're going to be discussing in this edition of the Press TV News Analysis, along with the bombing method, similar to the 2010 terrorist bomb attacks against another university professor, occurring on the second anniversary of the martyrdom of Iranian university professor and nuclear scientist Masoud Ali Mohammadi, who was assassinated in a terrorist bomb attack in Tehran back in January of 2010. What is driving other countries to assassinate Iranian scientists amid the IAEA silence? Along with that, we'll be discussing this and other factors in this edition of the Press TV News Analysis. Another terrorist bomb attack in Tehran. The target, an Iranian nuclear scientist. Police have covered the mangled roof of the vehicle carrying Mustafa Ahmadi Roshan. The latest blast bears the hallmarks of attacks targeting two other Iranian scientists, Majid Shahriyari and Feridun Abbasi. Shahriyari was killed instantly. Abbasi was injured. He was later appointed as head of Iran's atomic organization. A third Iranian scientist, Dariush Rezai Najad, was killed in a shooting attack also in Tehran in July 2011. A self-confessed Mossad agent killed another Iranian scientist, Masoud Ali Mohammadi, in January 2010. I want to categorically deny any United States involvement. Rashan was deputy director of the Natanz Uranium Enrichment Facility. Rashan is the fifth nuclear scientist targeted for assassination in the last two years. Four died. 